Hi there, welcome, it's Meredith. Welcome to the uh, late edition of today's reading <laughs> for Thursday, June 20th, 2019. Uh, we are using uh, the Angel Tarot for today's message, and our card from the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. It's an abundance card for sure. Uh, it does speak to financial abundance, stability in our finances, and beyond that though it is an abundance card period so across the board whether it's happiness joy peace uh whatever the abundance is for you that's in your manifestation sphere that's it this is the universe offering a divine and cosmic gift with its support and assistance for it and <clears throat> gosh there's a lot to this card typically you see you know the cosmic hand with the pentacle in it and a gateway in the background. So there is a message of stepping across a threshold to new experience and having an abundance of opportunity there. This is a card also of maximizing our potential and putting to rest our doubts. So <laughs> my guides are perking up and they're saying, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> okay. Very serious about that too. Uh, it is a message of checking your doubts because as those rise, that energy gets contributed to our manifestation intention. So if you're having a doubt, it's wise to validate it and let it go, release it, send it up on its way. If we don't give it some validation, attention, love, and the ability to pass away from us, it sticks around and we go into resistance trying to hold it off and that that can uh, cause the manifestation process to appear as if it is uh, loaded with obstacles and slowing down so take a look at your doubts and give them some love and ask yourself why they're there in the first place is there something that you're fearing uh, are you hearing an old tape loop for what's blossoming in front of you, the gifts that are on offer to you now that are in alignment and harmony with what's in your heart anyway. So if you notice it, give it some love, take a breath, get grounded, let it go. Grounded, suit of pentacles, very earthy. All right, next position, we had two cards fall out in the shuffle and they are the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> None of that, please, thank you. And then Ten of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Yes, the Knight of Swords, he can be a bit dramatic. He's impetuous. He's got a mission, he's going for it, and he stares straight ahead and goes right after it. He will cross the finish line, and he kind of doesn't care how he gets there. I'm fond of sharing with you that if you're on that horse with him and you fall off, this guy's not coming back for you. He's not even going to notice you're gone. So... It's a card about seeing the whole picture, looking into the periphery. And when we don't do that, perhaps that's where those doubts come sneaking in from the side, you know? And that causes a little bit of ego drama that needs attention, love, and nurturing so we can let it go. Because if you take a look at what the Knight of Swords is running at, it's the Ten of Cups. This is one of the happiest cards in Tarot. We are certainly on a theme with Tens right now. We had <clears throat> three in the reading. Is that yesterday's reading? It already feels so long ago. <laughs> I think it was yesterday's. But our spokes card here, the Ten of Cups, it's representing the tens that we've seen. And it also represents our now happiness, what we've been intending for, aiming at, and consistently returning to in our consciousness and in our heart space. So when we see a knight, we know that they convey messages between cards. We also know he's taken a run at the Ten of Cups, which is a great destination. But where did he come from? Four of Wands, freedom. Well, there's another message we are getting in repetition. Our fearless freedom lights up the world, lights up our life, right? The Four of Wands is definitely like the Ten, another of the happiest cards in the minor suits of tarot. This is happy home, happy life, happy family, good connections, solid foundations. 
It's referred to as the honeymoon card. So what's beautiful about this, and it brings some temperance to this night, is that you have the Four of Wands and all of its grace and goodness. You have the Ten of Cups and all of its grace and goodness. You have the Ace of Pentacles, and all aces in tarot will uplift and transform the frequency of challenging cards nearby. So this Ace actually uh, helps to temper out this night as well. And here we have a more expanded vision. Yes, he's on a mission. He kind of represents us. We're very uh, intent, and we are very intense about maintaining our happy foundation. It's super positive for us that out of stability, we're taking even a greater charge at the 10. We are not compromising for less than we desire, which is wonderful. Now, there is a message that my guides are asking me to share, and it coincides with a theme that has appeared in personal readings. So not necessarily the ones that you're seeing here on the tarot table daily, but the ones that I am doing with, you know, one-on-one -on -one with people. And a theme that is coming out of that has a lot to do with doubting the happiness that is here, right here in front of you that you are enjoying, experiencing, exploring, sharing, and so on. After the fact, I am hearing from people as they have an experience that is fulfilling, satisfying, very happy. Doubts are creeping in from the ego voice and challenging the happiness. So if there is drama at all, it could be in some of our old uh, vulture thoughts, hamster wheel thoughts, the things that circle that would pull the happiness out from underneath us. So there's a little bit of uh, shoe, you know, is the other shoe going to drop itis going on in the energy atmosphere. So if you are sensing that, come back to the center of your own self and take a breath and do a replay on all of the happy that is unfolding for you. Know that you are at the center of that manifestation. It wouldn't have occurred or unfolded at all without you. So... You are a part of that. It cannot be erased. It cannot be eroded. Unless, of course, we surrender to the doubts and fears of our ego, which are connected to doubts and fears that were established long ago in other circumstances and situations. So if this is coming up for you, this is an opportunity for you to heal it with love. So, again, don't go into resistance and try to push it away. Allow it its moment but as you allow it its moment, pour love on it. Just like the Ace of Cups we keep turning over, um, giving from the overflow. Think of that overflow as your pure raw love on offer to anything that comes up even looking like doubt, smelling like doubt. <laughs> does it pass the whiff test? If it doesn't, pour some love on that and stay grounded on this beautiful foundation because... You have created the Ten of Cups in your own life. You're celebrating this. There is surprise and delight wrapped up in it, and it's worthy of your continued pursuit. Last card. Beautiful. Three of Pentacles. Yes, an action card, and that is the action to take. Everything that these cards are just speaking to moments ago as I shared it with you. Um... In a traditional tarot deck, you typically see an artisan carving into a stone relief or building something. And the reminder of this card is that you don't hire a novice to do that kind of work. You hire a master. So the three brings us a bit of mastery. These cards invite our <laughs> ongoing mastery of our own happiness. And... Our, our passionate desire to keep that energy flowing. Note to self, turn your phone off. It distracts you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I feel though that this, this part feels complete. So let's, uh, let's do a couple of the angel oracle cards. I still don't know the name of this deck. And it's kind of funny that the box that it comes out of is not nearby each time I use it. <laughs> so, 
it'll remain a mystery. All right, it's uh, these are confirmation cards for you or answers to your questions. First card. <laughs> this one's a repeat. We had this one yesterday, you already know. Yes, you already know that your doubts are passing. They're just rising up to pass. As are your fears. It's an old tape loop. It requires some love. Okay, next card. Archangel Michael. You know, he's a wonderful angel to call on. He transmutes and transforms energies. Many people say that he cuts cords of energy. And do cords really need cutting? Do What are they anyway? I, let's question that too. Is, is a cord just an old tape loop like we're talking about here? Do we have to cut that? Do we have to go to battle with it? What if we embrace it? What if we pause and stand there with our arms open and embrace the very thing that we feel is an obstacle or an energy that could be draining in some way and we infuse it with peace, joy, and love and light, the light that we are? Perhaps it would just evaporate and dissolve. Consider it. And as you consider it, if you feel you're standing before an obstacle, of your own creation, call on Archangel Michael. Invite him to assist you in the process of transforming, transmuting energy, and elevating its frequency so that you remain grounded in the foundation of your own happiness and bliss. <laughs> See, you already knew that. <laughs> okay, next card. Look through the situation. Mm, this is actually a great technique. If you have a challenge before you, uh, even if you are challenged with, with your own thoughts, and you know we have a theme of um, loving up on our doubts and fears here, if you look through the situation, whatever the circumstance is, and see yourself on the other side of it, happy, whole, this is in your rear view, you're looking at it, having gratitude for the experience, um, you can bring it to closure and fulfillment rather quickly. And then, <laughs> I just feel guided to pull these two right off the bottom of the deck. First is, love yourself. Yeah. Step one, love yourself. <laughs> Step two, send love. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay, uh, let's move on. Let's do... Angel answers, same thing. Questions, confirmations. What do we most need to know today? What do the angels want to say to us? Trust. Beautiful. Yeah, trust that what you're feeling is good, right, and true, and in heart harmony with your manifestation process and all that you've been dreaming for and there's so much more um, interwoven wrapped up in that that will surprise and delight you <laughs> this one don't stop yeah don't stop doing that because look what it's producing four of wands ten of cups ace of pentacles archangel michael loving yourself loving others An abundance. Yeah. An abundance of all of this. An abundance of opportunity as each new thing comes into consideration, into waking consciousness. Um, yeah. Be in gratitude and appreciation and love for the abundance that's on offer. All right. Last card. Affirmation from the universe has your back. Okay. 
The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. There it is, summarized in one card. <laughs> I love when that happens. All right, everybody, happy Thursday. I hope you enjoy the reading. Please do like, share, subscribe here on the channel. If you'd like your own personal message, check the description box and have a beautiful day. Blessings and love to all of you. Bye for now.